Comrades, welcome to Ingvid. Today we will be discussing the hat. Hi, James from Ingvid, and I do want to talk about hats. I'm wearing a uh, hat that goes with the shirt, okay, but I've got a couple of them because we're going to discuss idioms. Now, Mr. E is here, of course. He's wearing a baseball cap. He's got, you know, we call them granddad caps in England, but they're caps. You see people wearing them all the time, this kind of a cap, okay? Um, cowboy hat, badly drawn, but who cares? In the early 20th century, people wore hats a lot, okay? So there were a lot of hat wearing. People would wear hats everywhere, church, whatever. Men would wear hats, so would ladies. But then they suddenly stopped. If you want to know the truth, it was around 1960s from a president named John F. Kennedy. He was seen often not wearing a hat, and he didn't wear an undershirt. And after that, men started changing their style. Hey, you don't just learn his, uh, English, we're going to teach you some history. He kind of changed fashion a little bit for men for the next 40 to 50, well, 60 years. But now, hats are back, and it's time for a hat idiom show, okay? So, because now you can say things. You'll be wearing your hat, and you can say something stylish like, I take off my hat for you, <laughs> okay? So let's go to the board. You'll see I have a couple of things written here, well, five to be exact, okay? And right now, you don't know what they mean, like without hesitation, be prepared for something very physical, be prepared to be shocked, give my respect, admire them, keep it a secret, and have many responsibilities. And I'm sure you're saying, what does this have to do with hats? Well, why don't I show you? Ready? Now, drop of a hat. When somebody says at the drop of the hat, they mean without hesitation, at any time. I'm talking to you and, oh, it dropped again. You don't know. It means move now. If someone says you have to move at a drop of a hat, it means don't even think, just go. Or it could happen at any time. At the drop of the hat, the bus could arrive. So you literally drop your hat, you look down, whoa, the bus is gone, just like that. So be prepared, okay? What about this one? Have you ever been walking in the wind? It's really, really windy. See, this is flying, it's flying away like Superman's cape now. See, he's flying. Someone will say, hold on to your hat because it'll blow away. Well, if you watch any movies, especially Westerns or North American movies, they're always like, hold on to your hat, son, something's gonna happen. <laughs> they're saying, be prepared to be shocked or something's gonna be bad. Be prepared. Because it's gonna be so physical or so amazing that the hat might fly away and you lose your hat. Remember, people wore it in the 20th century. So they wore hats all the time everywhere. Now we don't as much, so they don't say it as much, but you're going to see that these idioms are going to come back simply because hats are in style, all right? So be ready to be shocked. Something will scare you and your hat will fly off your head. Ah! Or you're going to do something physical like run and go, hold on to your hat, we gotta get going. Now how about this? I give my respect or I admire that person. <clears throat> if I were to see the queen right now, I would do this. Hats off. Okay, when we say we, my hat is off, that's off or remember, this is from a long time ago. So when you say hats off to that person, it's a sign of admiration. Many people, when they go into a church, if they're wearing a hat, they will take their hats off as a respect, you know, respect for the religion, or my hat is off for that guy, or I take my hat off because I respect them, so I take it off. And sometimes people don't do that. What they do is this. You'll see it, not as much, but they do it like this. That's like taking off the hat. So they do it shorthand, they go like this. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. They'd be like, good morning. Hats off to you. I respect you, or you have my admiration, or I admire you. Now here's something. I know it's funny money, <laughs> whatever. But see this? I got some money. 
Don't tell anybody. Keep it a secret. When we say, <laughs> when we say this, you're going to do your hat. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Shh, keep it on your hat. Shh, be quiet. And here's the final one. You should like this. <clears throat> this will be fun for you. Are you ready? So anyway, ladies, when we were walking down the street, I saw, I saw a beautiful woman, an absolutely stunning, beautiful woman. And I told you, she was uh, really incredible. I, uh... Captain, which way to the ship? <laughs> okay. I was wearing many hats. When somebody wears many hats, we say that they have many jobs or responsibilities. Each hat changes. You notice as I change my accent for every hat, I change personality. Well, sometimes, you know, you're a grandfather. And it's different than being a pilot in World War II fighting. Also, being a kid with snowballs is not the same as a soldier who must defend his country. <laughs> Right? So when you have wear many hats in your job, it means I have many responsibilities. Maybe I'm the cleaner and the computer guy. Maybe I do, I don't know, the editing. Anyway, I hope this has been a, well, an exciting experience for you as it has been for me. I don't get to act so much. Okay. Anyway, that is hats. My hat off to you. Uh, and Mr. E, who's still deciding what he should do, a kingdom for his hat. But where will you learn about more idioms besides hat idioms or, you know, conversation skills or grammar or vocabulary. I know the place. Go to www.ing, as in English, vid, as in video, dot com, where, I mean, don't keep it under your hat. You got to share this stuff, right? You can go and learn these idioms and other idioms. And sharing is caring. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.